One way to give an overview or a snapshot of a list of data is to use what's called a five-figure summary. And that just does what it says. It's a summary involving five figures. Now, the first one is what we call the lowest value. Okay? And we use the letter L for that. You also have the highest value. And we use the letter H to represent that. Now, within the data set, you want to pick out the middle or the median. Okay? Now, the median may be a number within the list or maybe uh, something in between two of the values within the list. The, the, the median of the lower half is what we call the lower quartile. And the median of the upper half is what we call the upper quartile. And Q1 is what we use for the lower quartile. Q2 represents the, up, the median, and Q3 represents the upper quartile. So let's have a look at a few examples and see how you go about finding a five-figure summary when you're faced with a list of data. Here we have a list of data, and we want to find a five-figure summary. Now, the lowest value and the highest value are easy enough to find. The next thing you have to do is count up how many numbers there are in your list. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this, given that it's an odd number, the median is going to be an actual number within the list. So you're going to have two halves involving five numbers and a central number in the middle. And this central number is going to be your median. Okay? So this is Q2. This here is your highest value. And this here is your lowest value. Now, within each of the, the lower half and the upper half, we pick out the middle value, and that is going to give us our lower quartile, which we said was Q1, and our upper quartile, which in this case is the middle value, within the upper half, and that is 9. Okay, so your five-figure summary for this list of data is just 3, 6, 8, 9, and 11. And that's all you do. Pick out the lowest value, the highest value, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the median. Write them all in order, and that is your five-figure summary. Okay. Let's have a look at um, another example. Okay. Again, lowest value and highest value, easy enough to pick out. Count up the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this time we have an even number of numbers in our list. So we're going to split our list into two halves of five numbers. Okay. So for this one, your median is not going to be an actual number within the list. It's going to be halfway in between the two values either side of the division here. So to get your median, all you do is just add 7 and 8 and half your answer. And that gives you a median of 7.5. Okay. This is your lowest value, your lower, lowest value. This here is your highest value. Uh, within the lower half, the middle value of the five numbers is your lower quarter. And within the upper half, the middle value is going to be your upper quarter. So again, your five-figure summary is just going to be the list of five figures. 3, 6, 7.5, 9, and 11. Okay. Now, so far, each of the lists we've looked at have been in order. Now, that won't always be the case, okay, as is the case for this one. Okay. So we need to write our list in order. Okay. Now, the best way to maybe do this is if you've got it written down, unordered, just to make sure you don't miss anything out, just stroke off the numbers as you go. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 3. All right? After that, we're going 4, 5, 6, 6. And then finally, 7, 9, 9, 10. Okay. 
Now that you've got your list in order, you can easily pick out the lowest value and the highest value. And you can then look to count out how many numbers you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So again, because we have an even number of numbers, we're going to have a median which, which falls in between two values. So you split your list into two halves, each containing six numbers. The median is going to fall in between five and six. So your median is going to be Q2, which is going to be halfway between five and six, which is five and a half. Your lower, lowest value is one. Your highest value is 10. And within this lower half of six numbers, we don't have a middle value, so it falls in between the two middle values, the two threes. So Q2 is going to be halfway between three and three, which is just three. You add the two numbers either side of the arrow, divide by two, you get three. And the same is true here. We add the two numbers in the middle of our upper half, divide by two, seven and nine makes 16, half of that is eight. So Q3 is eight. So a five figure summary for this list is just going to be one, three, 5.5, 8, and 10. Okay, and that gives you a snapshot of the data and tells you a bit about the numbers contained within that data set. Okay, now let's have a look at this one. Um, this time we've got seven numbers. It's unordered, so we've got to order it first of all. Okay, so we're going to go 2, 5, 6, 7. So 2, five, six, seven, and then nine, 12, 13, 15. Okay, so we have eight numbers. Lowest value and the highest value, easy enough to pick out. Now, because you have eight numbers, your median is not going to fall within the data set. It's going to fall between two values. So we split our list of eight numbers into two halves of four. Your median is going to fall between the seven and the nine, so it's just eight. Your lower quartile, because the lower half is an even number of numbers as well, it's going to be between the five and the six. So Q1 is going to be the average of five and six, which is five and 5.5. .5. And finally, your upper quartile is going to be halfway between 12 and 13, so it's 12.5. Okay, so your five-figure summary this time is just these five figures listed in order. So we've got two, 5.5, um, 8, 12.5, and 15. Okay. So that is your five-figure summary for that list of data. All right. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to copy down these lists yourselves, order them, and then come up with a five-figure summary yourselves. Okay. So pause the video, come up with your five-figure summary, and see how you get on. Okay. So for this list, now this list is already in order, so you don't need to bother ordering it. Here's your lowest value, highest value. How many numbers do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you're going to split it up so that you have five numbers either side of your central number. Now that number, which is slap bang in the middle, is going to be your median. So that's Q2. Now within our list, our half, bottom half of five numbers, the middle value is going to be Q1. And within your upper list, your upper half, the middle value is going to be your Q3. Okay, so your five-figure summary is just going to be 2, 6, 9, 13, and 17. Okay, 2, 6, 9, 13, and 17. Let's have a look at this one. Now, this one's not in order. So the first thing we have to do 
let's put it in order. Okay, so if we do that, we've got 16, 17, 19, so we can stroke them off as we go along, and then we've got 21, 23, and 27. Okay, now the lowest value and highest value, that's easy enough to pick out. Now, how many numbers do we have this time? We have six numbers, so we're going to split our list into two halves of three numbers. Your median is not going to be in the list, it's going to be between these two numbers. So your median is going to be the average of 19 and 21. Add these two numbers up, divide by 2, you get that Q2 is 20. Because our upper and lower lists uh, contain an odd number of numbers, then the middle value is going to be our Q1 and our Q3 respectively. Remember Q1 is just the upper quartile, Q, uh, lower quartile, sorry, Q3 is your upper quartile. So this is your highest number, this is your lowest number, so your five figure summary is just going to be 16, 17, 20, 23, and 27. And that just gives you a snapshot of the number the numbers in that data set. Okay. And finally, if we're going to write this in order, we end up with 9, 11, 12, 14, 20, 23, 27, and 33. Okay. Now, how many numbers do we have this time? We have eight numbers. That's your highest value. That's your lowest value. Split up your list into two halves, and we find that our median is going to fall between 14 and 20. Now, to get the average of 14 and 20, just add the two numbers together and divide by 2. So adding gives you 34. Dividing by 2, 17. Your lowest value, as we said, is going to be 9. The highest value is 33. Now the lower quartile is going to be halfway between these two numbers. So the lower quartile is just 11.5. Your upper quartile is going to be halfway between 23 and 27. Again, add them up, divide by 2. Adding gives you 50, dividing by 2 gives you 25. So you can finish it off and say that your five-figure summary is just 9. 11.5, 17, 25, and 33. Okay, and that's how you come up with a five-figure summary. Okay, now I want you to remember what we mean by lower quartile and upper quartile. Okay, I want you to remember what we mean by lower quartile and upper quartile. Because these are often used when you're talking about the range within or the spread of data. Uh, within a set or a list of data. Okay, now there are various different ways that you can talk about the spread of data. One is the range. Now the range is just the difference between the highest and the lowest. So the range is just the highest minus the lowest. The interquartile range is the range between the quartiles. Inter just means between. So international, between nations and so on. So the interquartile range is the range between the quartiles. So it's the highest minus the lowest, the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Now, you can also be asked to find or to use the semi-interquartile range. Now, in the same way that a semicircle is half of a full circle, the semi-interquartile range is just half of the interquartile range. So the interquartile range was Q3 minus Q1. The semi-interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. Okay? So if we were to look back at, um, let's say, this first uh, five-figure summary you came up with a wee while ago, the interquartile range would just be 13 minus 6, okay? The semi-interquartile range would be 13 minus 6, which is... Um, Seven. Okay, so we'll write up that the interquartile range is seven, 
The semi and the quartile range is just 13 minus 6 divided by 2. So it's 7 divided by 2, which is 3.5. Okay. So the difficulty is, or the, the tricky part is getting the five-figure summary correct. If you know what is meant by the interquartile range and the semi-interquartile range, then these should be easy marks for you to find. Okay, so that's how you find a five-figure summary, and that's how you describe the spread of data using the range, the interquartile range, and the semi-interquartile range.